Every once in a while, a laptop comes along that defines its low price, punching well above its weight class. That may be the case for the Acer Aspire E15. It's a 15-inch machine that has a sharp 1080p display, good performance, and a wide variety of ports. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Acer Aspire E15 laptop. We'll be going over key features, who this product is for, and how it compares to the competition. Not everyone has or wants to spend thousands of dollars for a premium laptop. So at under $430, the Aspire E15 might just be the budget solution you are looking for. But how does it really measure up? Stay tuned and let's dive into the video to find out. The Aspire E15 is what we've come to expect from a 15 inch budget laptop. It's big, heavy, and well, not particularly what we would call beautiful. The laptop's black deck is made of chunky plastic, but a brushed metal texture gives it a deceivingly premium appearance. However, when we touch it, we can feel the plastic of the shell, so there's no hiding the fact that it is a budget laptop. But overall, the laptop as a whole still feels sturdy enough. The display is not flimsy, stiff enough not to move even while typing. At 15 by 10.2 by 1.2 inches thick, the Aspire E15 is larger than comparably priced models such as the Acer Spin 3 and the Asus VivoBook Flip 14. But on the other hand, you are getting a 15 inch screen versus a 14 inch screen. Due to its larger physical size, the Aspire E15 is also heavier and weighs in at 5 pounds. For some of you, a 5 pound device doesn't warrant a second look, but if you're on a budget, you really should consider overlooking its weight. For the price, unlike the other 2-in-1s, the E15 has a standard clamshell design with a non-touchscreen display. The Aspire's 15-inch display is sharp but not very colorful. When we viewed it straight on, and we do mean directly straight on, the screen looks reasonably sharp and vivid, perfectly adequate for browsing the web, editing Word documents, or fiddling with pivot tables. However, if you move your head from side to side or tilt the screen up and down, you will have some problems with the image quality. Brightness and contrast vary widely depending on the viewing angle, and the display blows out and goes inverse as you tilt the lid down. These are telltale signs of a non-IPS display, and well, you can expect that with the Aspire E15's budget pricing. Plus, we found the display to be on the dim side. We had no trouble viewing the Aspire's display while indoors, but you can expect to squint if you're using the laptop near a bright window or outdoors, which is still on par for a budget laptop, and we can't really fault it here. On a positive note, the 1920x1080 panel does provide a surprisingly nice amount of detail. The Aspire E15 speakers are loud enough to fill a large room, but the overall sound quality is poor. At high volumes, the speakers are distorted, and even at around 60%, we found the guitar trebles pierced our ears. Okay, now let's look under the hood. Equipped with the Intel Core i3 CPU, 6GB of RAM, and a 1TB hard drive, the Acer Aspire E15 offers an excellent price to performance ratio. The laptop had enough oomph to load 10 Firefox tabs with ease while we played a YouTube video at 1080p. If you double that up, you may start noticing some minor lag. With that said, of course its budget status means you do need to manage your performance expectations. This isn't going to perform against laptops in the $1,000 plus range, but in its class, we feel it does perform above average. When it comes to gaming, the Acer Aspire E15 does not have the chops to play the latest games, but it's still more than suitable to play casual games like Rocket League and perform better than laptops without a dedicated GPU. While I won't set any records, the Acer Aspire E15's battery life is strong for a budget laptop. It'll last almost up to 9 hours of continuous web surfing over Wi-Fi. That's almost 3 hours longer than the Acer Spin 3 and the budget laptop category's average of 7 hours and 20 minutes. We feel the battery life gained here outweighs the extra weight of the laptop. We found it a bit annoying that it comes loaded with a lot of pre-installed software. While some are welcome additions, we feel others are more like bloatware. Included on its Windows 10 home operating system is a dedicated Acer folder filled with proprietary programs. One of the more useful programs is the Acer Care Center, which lets you update drivers, backup files, and delete junk. Another is the Acer Power Button, which gives you quick on-screen access to power settings. The other programs feel unnecessary like Acer Documents, which shows you the folder your laptop's user manual is located in. Seriously? Plus, the Acer Quick Access app only includes on-off controls for USB charging and a blue light shield setting that is meant to reduce eye strain. There are also the standard list of apps from third-party companies like Booking.com, Amazon, Evernote, eBay, and Netflix, which you may or may not appreciate. Bottom line, with solid performance, good battery life, and plenty of ports, we feel the Acer Aspire E15 is one of the best values on the market. Despite a few notable shortcomings, like a poor webcam, bulky design, and a dull display. But these don't detract too much from the overall package. The Aspire E15 offers excellent bang for your buck, 
and we highly recommend it as one of the best budget laptops for college students or anyone else shopping for an all-rounder laptop that won't break the bank. That's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing. Till next time, hope you all have a great day.